This is Dafiomi Ushami uh Demai in the article Oz Bahara edition. We are on Daf and Zion Amar Aleph and we are up to the fourth line, Shu Kamasu Shali. And in the Vilna edition it is on Daf Khab Zion Amar Aleph, one, two, three, four, five lines uh, four uh four thir- three lines down to wide lines. And towards the end of the line, the left hand line, Shu Kamas race. So um sh- uh, the coin stipulated, Shu my lady, whatever. Here it says Shalo, but in the article actually has it fixes fixes already. Um, but in the Vilna it says Komaso Shalo, it should be fixed to Shali. Kosman Shu Lefonecha, it should be in the Vilna it says it should be Lefonecha. So the um, the coin says, I, I want it to be mine as long as it belongs to you. You might say Shalo, so it belongs to that coin, or the lady, Kosman Shu Lefonecha, as long as the field is in front of that person. Who bought it from him? Marchla Acher. That person sold to another person. Ain Lo Amaisris. Then, coin lady loses his portion. It's not the fun. It's not uh, Lifne, the owner with with whom, with whom he made the stipulation. Class of Alakik met him. Now he bought it back again. So, the original owner, the, the owner with whom the stipulation was made, sold it, but then he bought it back again. Tani Rabbi Chia Ain Lo Amaisris. Well, it's, it's over and done with. Water under the bridge. You can't get, can't go. Don't get back to my. Don't go back to the first agreement. Kind of rebuation. said yes to my He does have. Uh, does go. Does go back to the original agreement. Asin ilen plutka kilen plutka. This machlekes or these machlekes literally these these bari plutka. These people arguing are going like kilen plutka like these people arguing. They had some lots of over there. Shamagaresh es uh, Isha, somebody who divorces his wife, Ichzira, and, brings, and then marries her again. I'm going to ask Tzubasu Isha and Ichzira. He brings it back on the conditions of the first first Tzuba. In other words, the first Tzuba was as a Psula. Now Tzuba would be as a Beula. She goes back to the status of Besula. Um, uh, Tana uh, Rabbi Chacham, Akum Rabbi La, Train Amorain. So the two Amorim will argue about the meaning of this phrase. Ksuba, One says, yeah, for the Ksuba, she goes back to the original Ksuba. But to the tonight Ksuba, there was all the other aspects of the Ksuba, which um, were besides the um, main Mono Masayim, um, she, that, that she doesn't get, that does is not in, it doesn't revert to that. Khanamari and the other said, Ben Ksuba, Ben Litnoim. Doesn't both for Ksuba and for the Tanoi Ksuba, the additional it goes back to the original uh, um, original agreement. Man do Amar, the Ksuba of Alolit Noin, they go back to the Ksuba but not for the Tanoi Ksuba. So here, all the Mepharshim uh, changes to switch around the Ain and the Ain. The and the Ain. Ain lo be Maisris. He doesn't have a poor part in the Maisris. Because uh, uh, again, you don't go back to the original agreement. Um, for the Kiddush, for the Ksuvi, you go back. For the Tanai Ksuvi, you don't go back. And also for Mice, don't go back. You do go back to the original, uh, just like you go back to the Tanai, here you go back to the original agreement as well. So, says Marva Tani, didn't we learn? Kibo Sodem mi Kohenes. If you Makabo Sodem from Hey Kohenes. And she stipulated that the Hamaisu Shalaw, Nisa the the hers, Nisa Israel, Kokim Hamaisus. If she marries the Israel, um uh they they divide up the Maiser. Uh so I think it means they distribute the Maiser. No, it's talking about a Macabo. So just that's uh the copper uh, a sharecropper. So a sharecropper, they divide up, each one has to give Maisus on their chalik. Uh we learned that Mishnah back there. So, um, uh, uh, what about, and then, um, then Nisarma Nisgarsha, she has widowed or divorced from her Israel husband. Chaza, uh, 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 she, uh, uh, she goes back to the beginning. Uh, so it's a Kasha, Kasha, says, Ain't of my sis. So, as he would say, they go back to, go back to the original agreement. Um, uh, it says, Well, no, it's, it's different because 
the mother of Rhodes, Ainu ben Maestres, that's when the that's when the field was sold, right? And the uh, uh, therefore that was so uh, since it was sold to somebody else, so therefore whatever is contingent on ownership is null and void, right? It's when it's when it's, it's, the guy buys it back again, but here uh, they're talking about. The field always belonged to the Kohenis. Always belonged to her. And the question was whether the um, the, the, the Tznoim of the sharecropping. So the Tznoim of the sharecropping carry over. Because uh, back then in, in the middle, she was married to Yisrael, it was uh, like an Arya de Viola, like an external impediment for her to getting, to, to deal, to getting the deal which she wanted with the sharecropper. But once that lion standing over it goes, goes away, so then it can revert back to the original um, original agreement. So it's not comparable, the Lord says. I'll go back for a minute to uh, uh, the the Luxuva. The uh, so um, question is, she got signed the first time, but why should you get more than a mana now? Right, because she's already no longer a Basula. So the the art school brings down that this is a case actually where the husband wrote a ksuba and he married his wife, where he divorced her, and he married her without writing another ksuba. So he divorced her a second time. Right. So she was, although she was married twice, she kind of collected a separate ksuba paying for each marriage. Since the husband did not write her a new ksuba when they remarried, we presume he intended for the original ksuba obligation to continue. And when she's later divorced or widowed, she's entitled only to a single payment, and that single payment is uh, of the, uh, from the first ksuba. Um, then he brings down the whole thing here, the Chazanish, which uh, is not necessary for our purposes today. Okay, so let's go further. Um, um, Vatani, Rabbi Chiyah. So, uh, the, uh, didn't Rabbi Chiyah have a version, Machra, that uh, the uh, Kohenis sold the field, and then she got it back, and yet, nevertheless, she goes back to the original agreement. So, how could this be? So, if uh, you just said that the, by, by sell, selling, it does go back to the original agreement. There, it, it went out when it was sold to the, um, when it was sold to the, um, to the, the, where the, loke, where the original Lokeh sold it to another Lokeh, so now we left the shows of both the Kohen and the, uh, the, the, the owner of the field. But uh, in, in this case, um, it's different because evidently the, the Mechira here is when she sold it, she didn't sell, she didn't sell it to somebody else. If she sold it to somebody else, then it would be the exact same case as, as our Gemara. But here, I'm going to play Moshe here. Here, the, 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 when Rabbi Chia said sold, it, it was sold, it's not literally sold. Because her husband took over the jurisdiction over it. Right? Because uh, she, was, she was married to him. And therefore, he, 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 the husband is considered the extension of his wife uh, in terms of o ownership and in terms of the continuity of the contract. So that's what it says. It was Yotem Yishus Moicher. Yotem Yishus Lokeach. But the, the Yotem from her Yishus. But it was never Yotem from his Yishus. And his Yishus carries over the, uh, since they're married, it carries over whatever condition existed before the marriage. During the marriage, it's like an Arya de Viola. It's like an external prevent, pre, uh, prevention from her getting it. But once uh, the marriage is over, so it reverts back to her. So the uh, there Yotzim Shushneim means nobody has any affinity to it anymore. Not the, in our case, not the not the uh, not the original owner and not the going right. That entire relationship was severed. But here, because the uh, husband, even though uh, the, the Usha, they said they made a bow uh, like a lokech but nichse ishto, right. It, it's it's still considered to be in her rishus, even though it's also in his rishus. So therefore, the continuity never ceases, despite the fact that she's married. So the um, 
again, lokech here is not really a lokech. It means the husband who has a din of a lokech. So then he continues her rishus from before she got married, through the marriage, to after, after the marriage is over. Okay, so now we have a new scenario. Um... Kohen <laughs> Not the plant of the Karen, because then for three of the three of the four years, or three of the five years, he's not going to be able to get anything because it's an uh, oral load for three years. In the fourth year, it's Karen Revite. So therefore, he can say, no, 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 no. I didn't give it to you. You can make a Karen, and then I should suffer during the three years or oral load. Ah, uh-uh. can't make a Karen. And Shalos are Istis. So the, um, the, um, Shalos are Istis means that, uh, the Istis, the, 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 the Gillian of Prime brings down, that it is a, a, it's a crop which only produces at the end of four or five years. So if you plant it, four or five years later, it gives a crop. It brings it down from Rashi and Shabbos, Tav, Sam, Echas, and Rav, and Tesba, Bekama, Kobeza, and Beis. So therefore, he, uh, again, it's depriving, of, depriving him uh, during that time of whatever mysis he could have gotten. And finally, Shlos are Allah, so they kin him, because all kin him, because also the uh, the um, the the Gilgul Ephraim says it's uh, the kind only grow to the full thickness after four or five years. I guess it's about like sugar canes or something like that, where there's edible an edible part of it. But anyway, the canes only fully mature after four or five years. So therefore, he, he, uh, that is un, not in line with the agreement which they made. Um, but Shalilo uh, Lum. If the, the coin says that it should be for mine in perpetuity, so then uh, he can't make a mecha. Right? Shali, because then four or five, uh, uh, the derech, if you have something with olam, is that you're going to switch things around. So the the, 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 I mean, the, buy, the buyers are allowed to switch things around, and in the olam situation, you can't, therefore, he can't be. Okay, because again, if it's four or five years, so it makes sense. You can't have, can't have a crop which is going to rob you of four, uh, three or four of the years. But if it's something which is, uh, but if it's, uh, the stipulation was forever, so therefore, just like uh, 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 it's normal for a farmer to switch crops from time to time. So therefore, in that case, um, he can't protest. Okay, as of the Kumi Rabbi Acha Bar La. So a uh, 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 the story is, uh, according to the Gilan Ephraim, he said, I'm going to ask four or five years. And uh, the Moicher protested because he switched the crop. And Lokeach did not, uh, not uh, heed the protestation. And he made it so, real full of Kanim. And... Um, I might say that okay, you made you feel so kind of so therefore you have to give him in lieu of the kind the mice of the kind we've gone for the first three years, you have to give him uh, money. Uh, uh, first three or four years, you have to give him money instead. Um so uh, uh so uh the um so Rabbi uh, let's see what let's see what, what, what he actually passed it. So um so he uh again uh uh also, the Kumar Rabbi Acha Bar Bar Lo, Vechiba Mitan Lo Echad Min Min Asar Lechad Min Asarte Dekanio. So he made him give one tenth of the kanim. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> The Gilan Ephraim uh, brings down um, that uh, to give a miser from the Kanim, um, and um, I guess from the Kanim, it's not clear what exactly it means. Evidently, it's not the, ma- the money of the miser, but it is the actual miser, I guess, from the from the Kanim in their immaturity. Now, uh, uh, he, he brings down that here from 
Harav Zechariah Frankel. Now, in the Vilna, the, the Mavo to Yisham of Rabbi Zechariah Frankel is, is printed. And Rabbi Zechariah Frankel is, one, is considered to be one of the fathers of conservative Judaism. Uh, historical, positive, positive historical Judaism, as it was called back when it was founded. So, uh, yeah, it, it, he was not as controversial, obviously, in any way, shape, or form, as conservative Judaism became later under, more or less, under Solomon Schechter. But uh, it, it is a little bit, uh, you know, um, interesting when you see uh, how Rav Ribschaya Frankel is as I, as I quoted, and it says here that. Uh, 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 the, 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 uh, also, he says the Tanai, that uh, it was just saying that Tanai is, exists, not that he had, he talked about new money, which is confirming they had to give him money. Uh, that's what he said to him. Right, let's, let's take a look and see if Reb Chaim says something different. So Reb Chaim has a very interesting hop. Reb Chaim was really, Khanim do not have any uh, food value. And therefore, that's why he was he could prevent them from planting kanim, because kanim have no not going to get any mice from. There's no 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 mice from kanim. I think you could say the same thing about istis, because I think istis according to some people is, is a yeah. Rechaim says the same thing about istis, because it's a type of paint. Uh, it's a, a plant plant of plant planted for dye. So these are things where there's not going to be any mice whatsoever. That's where you can be meicha and. Uh, um, evidently, because um, um, uh, the, the um, uh, that's the way farmers work. If it's lola, and it's so you only have get meiser if there is meiser. In those years, there's no meiser. There's some potter. So the question is here. Here, uh, uh, the story is one where he, he made a condition four or five years, and then the guy planted cunning. He says, I don't have anything to give. There's no meister. No food. So on that, um, uh, Rabbi Acha Barra came and said, okay, you're right, there's no meister. You have to give one-tenth of your kind. That, that's, so that's, that makes a lot of sense, because then it says, uh, It didn't say meister. It didn't say meister. It said you have to give him one-tenth of the kind which grow. Okay, so uh, next case. He saw from Alam Nashi or Maisa Shalom. He saw so so fields of the Kohen and said, I, I want to keep the Maisa to myself, which is strange, but okay. He, he made that stipulation. If it's in four or five years, it's okay. Lola Maisa. But to do it forever, it's also, which ain't Kohen, also Kohen. The Kohen to whom the field is sold can't make the soil a permanent Kohen. So four or five years, it doesn't look like he made him a Kohen. So more than that, it looks like he made him a Kohen. And uh, that doesn't fly. I think it's only this in Dalbar, obviously, but uh, it's bad, bad optics. Okay, the next case. Coin to Machas of Israel. Coin to the field of Israel. But Amar Lo, and he said to him, Al Menashu Maiso Shacha Arba Chamesh Shonim. He said to Israel, The Maiso should be yours for four or five years. Um, also. It's forbidden. My, it says more. Hachadarma muta, hachadarma osur. Previous case, he said four or five years is muta. Do we say four or five years is osur? What's the difference? Um, so the Gemara says, "Kanzi kol b'davar should be a shuso, a soul who sells to a coin that." Um, the uh, field is in the shoes of the Kohen, and the, the Meisers are in the shoes of the Kohen, he can give them back to the soil. That was the first case, even though only for four or five years. The Khan, but the Shane of the so, but here, the Kohen who's selling to the soil, the Meisers don't belong to him. He can't be a Mazakimim to the soil. So the, uh, uh, it's, <laughs> so now, uh, uh, again, the second case is one where Coin sell the field to Israel, and the coin he sold said to the coin on the condition that I get the mice. It's very nice, it's no longer the coin to make that stipulation. Therefore, it's also it doesn't work. We'll stop here for today. We're already on the Mishnah on Amr and Yunches.